autumn, the season of mists and mellow fruitfulness. And for the North Country Spate River angler, the first real floods of the year. Um, here we are on the Ribble at Weekly Farm. Uh, it rained like the clappers last night. And now you can see the river is a, quite a bit of colour in it, quite high. You'll remember last year, um, in the summer, we were down at this level on shingle, dry fly fishing for trout. And what we're going to do is to try and extract some fish, despite the water conditions, uh, and hope that later on in the afternoon, the water will have dropped sufficiently for a good hatch of fly and a rise of trout to dry fly. Now what we're going to do is I've got uh, a long rod. This is a 10 and a half foot rod for a five line. At the end, I've got a weighted leader. That weighted leader is going to help me take the flies down and slow the flies progress down. And then on this short tippet, I've got two of those weighted bugs, my sparkle bugs. It's incredible the number of flies we carry with us, isn't it? But you know, most of us have a few flies that we rely on. And there are rows and rows of flies in our boxes, perfectly tied perhaps, that we never ever tie on. I always think those are sort of um, a sop to tidiness because the flies we do use start to look quite untidy in the box, but those rows are there forever. Interesting, isn't it? And there's our wire bugs that we've tied. They're good. They really are good. I can't tie enough of those. There's the spartle bugs that I do like, and I can't tie enough of those. There's the woven ones we did, the Rhyacophila and Hydropsyche. Something a little bit more nice, but I never fish it now. And the old gold head, here's your gold head. Simple but effective. And I never, ha I'll never fish those now. And I never fish those either now. Beautiful little nymphs, but I don't fish them. They're there in the box. We'll be there in another 50 years time. So what I'm going to do, you can see the break and you can see a sort of crease, uh, an area of fairly slackish water in front of me here and then just beyond slightly faster and then out there the fastest water of all. And I'm going to fish this band just this side of the fast water. And all I've got to do is to roll this up, murder thing to cast and simply follow it round. And just, you see the flies will come round quite nicely. Watch the end of the fly line. Because if the fly line goes like so, that means a fish has got taken, hit it immediately. So we can now progress. Just follow it round. Watch the end of the fly line. If that line goes like so, we know there's a fish there. Let it come right the way around. By casting it slightly upstream, it means that the fly will sink much more quickly than if we cast it down and across. And now we, we let like trundle around. Those, three, those two weighted bugs will trundle along the bottom and hopefully a fish will take. Keep their eyes open on the end of that. I hit the bottom there. I'll check the flies in a minute. Uh, the important thing is to touch the bottom occasionally because certainly fish in these conditions will be close or on the bottom and um, if you're not touching the bottom occasionally you don't know you're deep enough so what we've got to do is just give the flies a quick check yeah no weed on there in Two important points. There's a great advantage, as we saw with fishing spider wet flies at close range, in having quite a long rod, a ten and a half foot compared with a nine foot. The other thing is, it's also worth knowing what the river looks like 
when it's low, because then you can work out where the fish are likely to be when it's high. For example, underneath the rod tip now, advantage of a long rod, underneath the rod tip now, uh, there is a channel, and the flies are now coming through that channel, not far out, I brought, I'm fishing a little bit closer, and I would guess that that is a good place for fish to lie when the river's a bit high. It'll funnel food down to them perhaps. So we fish this channel very close in. And that was a leaf. Um, strike at anything. the flies come right round close to. Have some slack ready and then as the flies come round, if you think they're not deep enough, just let a little bit of that slack out like so and that will help the flies to sink as they come round. Fish it very tight in because the fish in these conditions will often. Nope. 